On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we pull a project back out of uh, long-term storage here. Something you guys probably were not expecting in the middle of winter. My Harley Davidson V-Rod. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jargo and today, like I said, I'm here with my O2 Harley V-Rod that I bought cheap. It's been almost a year since I bought it, but it ran and drove when I bought it. It just had a lot of issues. And the last thing we found after we got the front all swapped out to all the brand new parts, Brembo brakes, brand new Metzler tires, all that good stuff. We went to the rear and the axle was locked up. Of course, we made a whole video fixing all of this and trying to get that axle out and we had no luck. While I was gone, my dad sent me a picture of the axle for this thing laying on the floor beside it with a caption that just said your move and i was like how on earth did you do it and apparently he just sat here with a hammer and worked this axle out of here uh really slowly and he just kept tapping it no heat or anything but you can see that everything is covered in um, rust penetrant lots and lots of rust penetrant and uh hitting it over and over and over and over even the whole uh drive sprocket here for the belt uh it's just absolutely covered so we've got new wheel bearings right here these are you know what whatever i got on ebay that said it fits an o2 v rod we have the tire for this thing that is ruined you can see it steps out like heavily right here it's all cupped in right there and of course it's basically down to the cords at the back it is absolutely ruined so the wheel is ready to come off now, and of course we've got a brand new Metzler tire for that as well, along with the new Brembo rear brake disc. So we gotta get that mounted on this wheel, and uh, let's, let's basically get to it. I'm gonna pull this wheel off, and we are gonna head over to get a bunch of tires swapped out for me, my brother, and my dad all at once. That's right, it's not only V-Rod day, it is everyone's bike gets a new tire day. So my brother and my dad brought all their bikes over and said, go take care of this. You can see my brother's rear tire here, my dad's front tire here. Everybody has complete wheel and tire setups getting swapped out. Uh, Jared's front tire is new, and my dad runs a car tire on the back, so that's actually a totally different thing. That's one of those Avon straight up car tires. After this, the V-Rod should be home free, even though I have, I think, $6,500 in the rebuild now, which is exactly what I'm asking to uh, sell it as soon as we're done with this thing. I think dad just went after this because it was sitting over here in the back of the shop and he decided he wanted something to work on. Plus he wants the bike out of here, obviously. All right, well, that was sure easy to get off of there. Uh, we're also going to swap out the rear brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back for now. And we'll get this changed over to the Brembos as soon as I get back. Let's go get some tires on this bad boy. And we are back with Marco, of course, because he is the man who can get tires done on motorcycles uh, efficiently. You know, obviously it takes a special balancer for these things. He's got it all set up. I can't tell you how much this is gonna change my life. This tire would go flat every, I'd say five days, just sitting. This whole tire was just absolutely trashed. I gotta tell you guys, the brake rotor is not a fun part of this job. We just got all the bolts out. And for a while there, we had a three foot breaker bar sitting over there on this thing. So it's finally all out. Ouch, I just got stabbed by a random piece of metal there. She's free. That's what it takes to get your old brake disc off. Uh, yeah. Breaker bars, impact. Yeah, the impact didn't even do it. There's our fancy new brake disc. And before we uh, mount the new tire, we're gonna clean up the bead there so it doesn't sit around leaking again. This falls on there every time. Um, well, that side does. I know, but you still make it look easy. Be a little bit more of a challenge. But I got ways to cheat now. The rollers are amazing, aren't they? They are amazing. If they, if they in fact do what you want them to do. Right. Yeah, 
It's balance time. Hopefully this thing actually balances out. It is a ton of weight, I can tell you that, with this giant solid center in here. So, I'm excited to see. How bad is it? Say around two. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. You guys aren't going to believe this. Marco hit the jackpot on this one. Also, it's just weird because this is actually a 15, not something you see very often. But he spun it and it balanced at zero, zero. Well, that is it. Uh, brake rotor done. The bearings obviously wouldn't come out of the wheel. Three sets of tires swapped out here in just a short amount of time. Well, thanks, man. My pleasure. I'm back in the shop with all of these wheels and tires ready to go on the bikes. You can see my brother's is all tied up, ready to drop back into place. And of course, my dad's new tire over here. I didn't realize that Avon front and rear, it's just the Avon car tire in the back. This is the Avon Cobra Chrome. So those two bikes are well on their way to going back together. Uh, it should just take a few minutes each and they'll have those things wrapped up. Now mine, on the other hand, I thought we were out of luck again. Obviously, Marco and I, we tried to get those wheel bearings out because we were beating on those things. You know they're shot. So we had to get my new ones in there. I had the new wheel bearings right there. And of course, we went to work on the wheel. And Marco has a blind bearing puller that expands inside there. And of course, there's no gap for you to like get a drift or anything through. Uh, there's a spacer in there. So you can't really catch the edge of the bearing and push it out. So we were having zero luck with that. We tried it, we took his blind bearing puller with the slide hammer, set it up, and we got absolutely nowhere. It just kept pulling it through. So even better, we tried using the blind bearing puller tool and pushing it out from the opposite side with his hydraulic press, and it pushed the tool right out. And uh, doing that, it took a bunch of material out. So I went over to Truett and Osborne, another local shop that does a lot of Harleys, and obviously they're familiar with the V-Rod, even though they don't do a lot with it. And guess what? They got it out. Take a look at this footage. This thing looks absolutely rough. No wonder it was impossible to get it apart. So that was my spacer just a few minutes ago. This is my spacer now. It looks much better. It's all cleaned up with the wire wheel. And uh, of course the axle, I just cleaned that up where it was stuck in the bearing. You could feel it had extra material laid down on it. So I just got that fixed. And while they were trying to get the bearing out, it broke the inner race into four different pieces before it finally let go. So this has been an absolute challenge for everyone involved. And apparently this is really common with Harley axles. Uh, they were like, this happens, you know, honestly. When, and they're a Harley shop, they don't do anything else. And I was kind of mind blown that this is such a kind of a normal deal, but they were used to it and they got it out no problem. And even better, they charged me $10 since it was a carry in wheel. So unbelievable that somebody in uh, 2020 will work on anything for a $10 bill. So shout out to those guys for taking care of me. And uh, it, it still, it took like 20 minutes to get the thing out of there. And that's with all of their setup, like they have everything ready to go. So this thing is finally ready to be reassembled. Just so much work went into getting it to this point. The new brake rotor's on. I need to clean that up with some brake clean. And uh, I'm out of that, but you can see it still has the packing oil on there. So that's gotta come off first. And we have to drive in the new bearings. And guess what? I don't have a bearing race tool here. I went on a hunt for the proper sockets and that's not here either. So I gotta take these bearings home, get the sockets, and then we'll come back to attack the Harley again with more tools. And this time we'll drive in the bearings, put the rear end back together, and all that's left is replacing that side cover gasket and my slipper clutch. I'm super excited to have a slipper clutch on this thing. Anyway, shout out to my dad, shout out to Marco, shout out to Truett and Osborne. Everybody worked together to get this thing done with me and it's been, it's been a pretty crazy journey and I'm so close to the finish line now and I'll have a V-Rod that I'm ready to sell. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchchairogo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. I think this thing leaked all of its oil out of that side cover that needed the gasket replaced. There is nothing left to leak. Well, you guys wanted to see more of the transmission rebuild on the Cushman as well. So as you can see, the hub assembly is back together. Yeah, I got the bearings in it, packed the bearings, put the seals in it. I haven't painted them, washers painted those washers yet, but this wheel is ready to go back in one. Did you see I found the tire and sent it to you? Yeah, but it wasn't a white wall. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not a white wall, but yeah. it is a coker. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could get yeah. that one, but I'll, okay. the, the, the Silver Eagle. A lot, of, a lot of guys just paint the white walls in. 
they put tape on there and paint the white. I've seen that a lot lately. Well, the uh, Dennis Dennis Carpenter can get them. Anyways, I got the carburetor back on. Okay. And uh, yeah, the carburetor's nice. on. I got the new hoses on. I got to put the clamps up in place. Got the breather hose on. So so this is all going. The throttle throttle works now. So yep. So that's dangerous, but ready. It seems a little crunchy. Yeah. It, it needs like a giant throttle return spring. Yeah. I got this uh, put on top. Uh, and this this lines up. I, it looks like this originally didn't have any spacers behind it, ah. but I think that might have had some. It might have uh, caused that to weaken and break right where it was welded. But yeah, because it was putting a torsion on yeah, it instead yeah, it was, of a, it was really stressed out. Yeah, and in a in a bend. Uh, but who knows? Might not have any impact. So anyways, I just popped this, the. This is just a reverser, right? It's not actually. Oh no, a, no, it's two speed. It's a two speed. Okay. So there's there's uh, a. <clears throat> Handy dandy adjustable shifter. Yeah, so there's there's neutral right there. You yep. got nothing. So you direct it just it's just like any direct. Okay. It just locks the input shaft. Well, it to makes the, sense this doesn't have a reverser. I don't know. I thought <laughs> yeah, this is not a Honda. <laughs> it's not as fancy as my gold. It's wing. missing five cylinders. I'm used to just having uh, amenities. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Anyways. So, um, yeah, so, so yeah. anyway, so it that all works and uh, while I had it up while I had the back off, I thought I've never been in it. I was really surprised the oil yeah, uh, didn't fine. didn't you know it wasn't terrible bad For but uh, 40 years old yeah it's probably the original oil uh, so anyways I thought I'd just go ahead and give it a bath get that cleaned out put that back on so did you buy a gasket or are you making it oh I have to make it I okay. didn't okay. I, I didn't think that far ahead yeah so I, I wasn't planning on pulling that off sure but I was spinning this uh, all ago and uh, it 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 was uh, it kept hitting the a hard spot no matter where I put the gear shift and I thought you know what it ain't it's too much trouble to get back in it and it was leaking oh okay right there and I yeah. thought time Change to it. time to take it apart so anyway I'll try to get the back end back on today but it's pretty close to getting ready to start yep so anyways I'm, I'll, I'm, keep, I'll keep plugging away I brought some no ethanol gas for the truck so you can put it in there yeah it's gonna it's gonna need that so I'll keep plugging <laughs> 